Hi, in the last video I promised you some shock and awe regarding uh, plugins on, uh, on KeePass. And uh, if you'll go to, down to the plugins menu under tools, you'll get this, this box here. Now, it's empty right now, but if you go down to the left corner, it says get more plugins. It'll take you to a website that lists all of the plugins for KeePass. And there are tons of them here. They do just about everything you can think of, all sorts of backups and things. I want to show you this one here called Key Anywhere, which I think is a must have. And what it does is it allows you to synchronize your, your KeePass uh, database to things like Dropbox or, or what have you. So just click on the website here and you, it's called Key Anywhere and you're going to have to download it. And it's, it takes several steps, several manual steps in order to, excuse me, get this thing uh, set up. And you just download it to your hard drive. And it looks like, uh, let's see if it's, it's, if it's complete here yet. I think it's there. Yep. And uh, we're going to have to move that file now to a certain location on your hard drive. But uh, when you're moving it, you're going to have to close uh, KeePass first. So let's let's close all of this out, and then we're going to take this keyanywhere.plgx, uh, and we're going to copy it. And now we're going to look onto this PC, and you're going to go down into your C drive and into program files now on a on a 64-bit machine, it'll be program files x86. You might have just program files. Um, and look for key pass. There it is, key pass. And you open that, and you're going to see a, another folder called plugins. Go into that, and then just paste your file into uh, this folder. And give it some permission to do that. And it's there. Okay, so now we're going to we can close this stuff out. See, it's in the plugins folder, and we're going to go down to open up KeePass again. Uh, where is it? There it is. And now you'll see, I'll get this message that says compiling and loading plugins. Um, that's because it found something in that folder, and now it's integrating that plugin into KeePass. Uh, now we put in our password again, which was password. And this stuff in the background, you don't you don't need that. You can just we can just close out this uh, uh, GitHub thing. Uh, here's our old password, old uh, uh, database that we created in the last video. We had eight books in there. And now, if you go down into uh, let's say open recent or open, you see we, normally you just have open file and open URL. Now we have open from cloud. Also under tools. You know, there's something in that box now. Key Anywhere is in there. So we want to take our database that we created and we want to copy that out to Dropbox. So we go down to Save As, and we don't want to go to Open It. We want to go to Save As, Copy to Cloud Drive. Okay, now the first time you do this, it's it's not going to know how to open up your Cloud Drive. So you'll get this message here that you need to you know, give some additional information. This only happens the first time after you, you know, you uh, install the plugin, and you're going to want to add. These will be the cloud locations you want to add. We're going to add a Dropbox, and <clears throat> now it's going to ask you for your credentials it, that uh, it needs to know in order to get into Dropbox. It's a you know, username, password, or email pass uh, and password for Dropbox. Um, I happen to have mine saved on a, another tool. I'll just go over there and, and grab it and paste it in and then paste the password in and sign it. And we don't need this anymore. And uh, now it's going to sign into Dropbox. Now notice I don't have, I want you to know I do not have drop, any Dropbox tools installed on, on this computer. This is interface into Dropbox directly. And uh, you, if you had some other cloud things, you can add them here or had to adjust any uh, settings for uh, uh, any of these tools, you do it in, in this box here. So you click OK. And now if we go to, um, say, Save As, 
and do that same thing again, copy the drive. Now we see my Dropbox drive. And it's a good idea to put your, your key pass stuff in a separate folder if you want to put it out on Dropbox. I've already, already created a folder here called Key Pass, and I have some other databases that I've already saved, but we're going to save this new one now, and we're going to call it um, More Passwords, because I already have a password there. And here is, is this URL. You're going to have to save that. Um, Oops, you know, actually I made a mistake, so I had to redo this. You have to save that URL that appears down there, but you have to make sure you include the extension, that KDBX. I'm going to copy that because you're going to use that in a minute, and then click OK. Now, I, I already did this, so I can't click OK again, but you would click OK at this point. And then go to... Uh, synchronize and you want to synchronize now to a URL and now we can paste that URL in here see and unfortunately you're going to have to enter your username and password one more time here but we'll save it so this will be the last time you have to enter it this will be your Dropbox username and password and you want to set this thing here to say save username and remember username and password so you don't have to do this again and click OK and now it's synchronized he says synchronization complete and what we can do is we can go out there and and let's let's make a change give you an idea what what is going on here so we didn't just copy a file up there well, We'll, we'll make a change to uh, a books. We'll change it to dead two, and save that. Now this is saved on our local hard drive. It's not saved out onto the Dropbox at this point. We, if we looked at our Dropbox database right now, it wouldn't have that change in there. But if we go down to synchronize, and now we don't have to synchronize to URL now because we already did that one. So just go to recent files, look for Dropbox. That's the one we just did. Just click on that. And it's just going to fire off that synchronization that quick. And this is a, a, a really powerful tool. Uh, I'm going to pull this back up and show you that it's, it's actually changed. Close it. We'll open it again. Enter our password. This is our local password on our uh, database. And there are the changes there. Now, uh, this tool is really... This feature is really powerful if you're using KeePass on multiple uh, devices and you want to uh, you know, keep all your passwords coordinated between them. And, you know, and again, here, if you want to uh, synchronize again, you just want to make sure you look for that Dropbox, the last thing you did, and you can resynchronize. Okay. Now, what it's doing each time you do that synchronize is it actually reads the file that you saved out there that's pointing to, that URL, and compares each password that's in your database and see if any of them have changed. And then it keeps the most recent one. And that's powerful if you're using multiple devices because then, uh, say, if you have this on your, your iPad and on your PC, you can synchronize between the two. The iPad has a Dropbox uh, uh, synchronization built into it, so it makes it really easy. So I hope that was, uh, you know, exciting for you, and uh, hope it's useful for you. Uh, God bless, and have a good day.